And if you send get any mood to party tonight or sometime soon, I don't know what will. Neil Forbes on pan, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, okay, here with us. How you doing? I am good, and yourself, Rocker. I I good. Now that now that that just yeah, happened, yeah, I yeah, real yeah. I can't real shake good. Up the place, eh? Yeah, no, Neil, yeah. get on. You're on real bad day, boy. <laughs> so I understand we have a last jam coming up. Of course. What is what is the concept of a last jam? Why is it the last one? Well. As most of Trinidad and Tobago would have seen recently, Desperado's Steel Orchestra was gifted um, a new pan theater from, yes. from the state. Um, it was opened earlier this year, I believe, in April. And as the band prepares to transition from one location to the mm. next, we saw it fitting to have one last event right. in true steel band fashion with a last jam. Right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> so it's happening next week, Saturday? Next week, Saturday, the 1st of July. All right. So... We haven't won last jam. You have some friends coming to jam with you, or it's just a desperate jam and all night? No, 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 we can't jam by myself. But <laughs> the thing is. <laughs> Chrissy, I'm not able to tell you. I'm not able to tell you, Chrissy. No, no, no. But, but um, we have been at the Tragic Road location. Corner of Tragic Road and Victoria Avenue for the past roughly six years. Mm -hmm. And um, we've had some neighbors that have been good to us for the time that we've been there. So we saw it fit to invite just some of them because we have more neighbors than than, than those on the cast. And I was saying, I find your specific neighbors no, that didn't gosh. get invited, but go ahead, let me hear, let but, me hear about the ones that invited. But, but the, the ones that would be performing on the day are Proman Starliff, mm -hmm. Steve Orchestra, um, Hardcore Face 2 Pan Groove. Right. Shell Invaders, mm -hmm. and of course, Host Desperados. We also have some special guests in the um, in Lavender Rhythm section. Um, we also have Caribbean Steel Pan Connection, which is very much um, a group that was built out of Desperados. Its leader, Mr. Ricky Robley, is a, a member of the band, and it will be hosted by none other than Mr. Ken Simmons, the gentleman. Ah, oh, boy, Ken <laughs> yeah. himself, boy. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're talking about this this location. How are you? Tell me the truth, right? Yeah. How do you feel about the new location as, as the home for Despers? Well, persons have, from, well, I think on the, on the outside, have reservations and, you know, a bit of hesitation. But the thing is, the steel band, or Desperados in, in particular, has to make the space what it needs to be. Right. All right? Steel band is born out of, of, of places and communities where things are perceived to be negative on the outside. And the thing, steel bands have been the, the guiding lights, just yeah. as Desperados has been in Lavantil. Mm -hmm. Same way Renegades is uh, next to Shaman. You know, I'm going to challenge that, right? Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you say the same way as Desperados was in Lavantil, but you know, in Lavantil no more. Right. So the, the thing is, people like to make the argument that it's only crime or, or whatever that drove the band out of the air, which is part of part of the issue. But the real thing is the band has outgrown the space in Lavantil. Right. All right. It's not suitable for the size of band that we have for Panorama um, anymore. It's difficult for persons to, to get up there. I mean, it's a steel band located almost at the top of a, of, of a hill. So mm -hmm. for those logistical and, and spatial issues are, if not the main cause that the band is not operating there anymore, mm -hmm. um, more, more and over and above the, the crime situation. And we have those, those, those logistical situations sorted out at the new venue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the venue could accommodate lots of persons in terms of parking. There are opportunities for commercial growth with um, um, vendor booths and stuff to be rented out. And the space itself lends itself to a lot of entertainment, open mm -hmm. door entertainment. Um, there's a classroom so we could properly and, and, and formally kickstart our music school, things like that. So, yeah. yes, it does lend itself logistically to those To, those to improvements and to, and to upgrades certainly. and all that good stuff. We have joining us as well Maya Roberts of the Desperado Steel Orchestra. Maya, good morning. Good morning. How are you going? I'm good, and you? Tell me, I'm all right, you know, tell me about the last six years that you guys have spent uh, on Tragedy Road. How have you been enjoying that space and, you know, what does it come to, to mean and develop? I mean, from when you would have gotten that space to begin with. Um, I don't know if you've been banned six years now, and this is me assuming plenty here, Maya. How long have you been with the band? Well, I have been with the band since 2015. And right, good. So you can tell me about the space <laughs> at Chagrid Road. Talk to me. Um, honestly, being on Chagrid Road, it was exciting because, well, I mean, it's Chagrid Road, so it always has something going on. Mm -hmm. Some kind and of back and out, some yes. things. Oh, nice. Cars passing. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, to me, it's, it's a very nice spot that we were in because mm -hmm. of the location, right. it's like right between town and St. James. And uh, it was over a nice experience. Yeah, if I could, if I could chime in there in mm -hmm. terms of the significance of the space to us. Um, 
we were able to win a panorama, panorama there, you know? I mean, come second there, come third there, but, but... Clearly, it doesn't matter where we put you. It just matters what you do no, with the right, space. Yeah, no, but, but the space has been, again, back to my first point, been good to us. Our neighbours yeah. have been good to us, and the space has been good to us in terms of what we've been able to, to do and accommodate, and the size of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, the events or persons that have had events have been able to accommodate large numbers of people, so it's, it has been a wonderful space for the past six years. Last Jam is happening on the 1st of July next week, Saturday, and... I see no coolers allowed. No. Nah. Right? So you're coming in, you pay $40. Yes. You only can buy tickets in advance, you pay at the door. You pay at the door. And you pay at the door. It's only $40. You yeah. get into Jam with Despers, Shell Invaders, Hardcore Phase 2, Promon, Starleaf, and a couple others. Yes. All right? So we head across to Shagrit Road for the last time. For the last time. Is it going to be bittersweet? If yeah. you decide to cry, that's on you. That's on you, you see, I find you, I find you keep yeah, passing on this buck like you're not going to. You see, thank you, Maya. Thank you, Maya, for being honest about it. He yeah. wants to be a big macho man until wow. he's not going to cry. You know? yeah. He's going to cry when he's leaving because after that last time, he has to say, well, the last time that we spent here was, it was good times. Yeah, sure, but, but, but it, it's a refreshing feeling to move into the, to the new space because the band has been nomadic in nature for the past... 12, probably 15 years, because this mm. is not our first temporary location. Yeah. A lot of people would know that we were on Katie's Road in Belmont yeah, before, yeah. Frederick Street on in, in, in Port Park, right, and by, by the Savannah as well. That's yes, yes, a bit higher up, yeah. right? And, and um, it has not been easy for the, for the band to settle and do the things that they would like to do in this temporary and, and move-in fashion. So mm -hmm. we are grateful, for, yes, for Traffic Road, but for the ability to settle and be stable for um, years to come. All right, guys, so we're heading across the Shagrit Road for one last jam with that spuzz happening next week, Saturday. Uh, Neil, do you mind taking us to the top of the hour with a little piece of that tune again? Because you played so well, you know? Sure, if, sure. if it's nice, do it twice. Yeah. But before we get there, I just want to give some more, some more news about the Special Olympics. And let me say congratulations and great job to the athletics team. Melissa Nanan, she plays third in the long jump. Uh, DeAndre McGurk, he plays seventh in the long jump. Uh, Nathan McLean, he plays eighth in the long jump. Uh, Ter Tershana Tempro, she also plays eighth in the long jump as well. So we say congratulations to the entire team that's been representing inside the Special Olympics. And I want to encourage each and every one of you to go out there and make a difference today now because together we aspire. And if together we perspire, then together we most definitely can achieve. On behalf of Natasha Lake, Kimberly D'Souza and the entire team, both upstairs and downstairs at the Now Morning Show, we want to wish you a fantastic weekend. And Neil, representing Desperados, shall take us inside the engine room as we get to the top of the hour. Do enjoy the rest of your weekend.